Good morning, folks. Helio viewers been lagging since last night, so we're going to use the SDO site for shots of our star today. Cosmic Ray Health Watch is in effect. We've got lots to cover, but first we're at spaceweathernews.com. Start your eyes top left for a small CME leaving the limb. And then around the disk you see some surging. A few hours of calm and then just right of center a small solar flare of long duration appears to have set a CME potentially our way. It was not major. Nothing terrible would be expected, but when the coronagraphs update today, I will be looking for solar plasma coming our way. Like I said, the solar flare was small. We did break into C-class range over the last day, but still nothing too bad. We've got sunspots departing and near center disk on the south. Big group heading out of view while we'll be monitoring this grouping to make sure it stays spread magnetically and unlikely to fire. Solar wind here. Everything is calming and quiet here at Earth, and given the extended period of KP zeros and ones, we should remind everyone that certain cardiac and CNS issues and other flare-up events from the epidermal to psychological range can be affected when cosmic rays increase on these quiet days. There are dozens of papers, but linked below is my tweet from a bit ago with three great studies to get you started. Next, coronal holes are just beginning to reach center longitudes, and as they did so, this is what the disaster at beta on my phone was showing starting when we uploaded yesterday's news up through about sunset last night. We are at the max watch right now and expected to be there from coronal holes for a while, so we'll have to check CME coupling for further time restrictions. Far side of the sun let at least one go as well, so the stronger watch does begin. When the watch score was about 9.9 .9 last night, we had Japan rumble again in the exact same location as a few days ago. Hopefully those are not foreshocks. And luckily the next typhoon coming through should not be an earth spot factor, as this one isn't going to swing north but continue westward. We also had the ridge signaling that South America could be ready to rumble again. We'll be checking our location factors tonight and yet another odd rare quake near Africa. These are very peculiar indeed over the last week. Solid link today from Hubble as a planet is detected orbiting twin red dwarfs. Of course, the bigger Hubble news is still three and a half days away, as Monday is set to see a major announcement from Hubble on Europa. While I'm hoping they snapped a shot of ET, I'd settle for ice changes on the surface indicative of a volatile ocean beneath. Eyes open. We'll end today with some shots of the tornado and damage that swept through Utah yesterday afternoon. There should be more storms tonight in the United States and across the world, so we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.